guys, it's me, AJ. Welcome back to my channel. Just a disclaimer, if you see me looking the same in the next few videos, it's because I am pre-recording all this stuff so I can upload these next few videos throughout the week because I will be starting work. So I won't have a lot of time to film or edit videos. So I'm gonna try and do all of this at once so that way I can have videos for y'all until I can find a new balance, a new medium, so that way I can balance filming editing and work anyway in today's video i'm going to be talking about what's in my pleasing bag now i don't think that this was a requested video and that's totally fine i am just really excited because this is my first pleasing bag that i ever got i missed out on the first drop with the original pleasing bag but i really love that they decided to release a green version so that's one that i got it's really big there's no reason for me to get this big of a bag especially because like one i have so many bags already specifically tote bags which i can go into another video make a, a separate video about i'm a tote bag girly trust this is really big this is bigger than most of my my bags in general but i was really excited to get this and as you can see i have some stuff in it i don't have a lot of things in it because again having to decide what to put inside of this bag is just crazy also <laughs> I, the way that like i started off like right here and how i've had to scoot back just to show the bag itself it comes with these regular two like straps this so easily goes over my shoulder like so it also comes with a longer strap so you can obviously have it lower down on your body like this i'm a very short person so i don't normally have it like this or you could even do it like crossbody like so sometimes if i'm leaving my house i'll do it like this but most of the time i just use these two straps and put it over my shoulder and it kind of reduces how big it looks to me because it's just it's a really big bag let's start off on what's outside of my purse so you guys have might have heard this jangling around as i'm like lifting and showing the bag i have two bath and body works uh hand sanitizer holders here i have a gingerbread man and i have a little cupcake look at the scents that i have in them in the cupcake i have winterberry ice I have like a lot of things in that scent for whatever reason. That was during Christmas, obviously. And then the gingerbread one, I have, I didn't even realize I put this one in the gingerbread. I thought I had a Halloween scent uh, for whatever reason, but I actually have the snowy peach berry scent. So I have both of those in there. And trust, that's not the last time you're gonna see hand sanitizer. This hand sanitizer holder is actually really funny to me. It's an interesting placement to put the opening to put the hand sanitizer in at the bottom maybe that's just me okay so first thing that i see when i open my bag is my wallet coach came out with a lot of strawberry printed things and to be honest i wasn't trying to like buy a whole ass purse but i did see that they had this wallet and the strawberry detail is so cute and i also don't have a lot of wallets that have a wristlet so i think this is useful when i'm just like needing to leave the house real quick don't need to take my whole purse can just grab my wallet next thing i see a pad girlies you already know the deal i should put this and some other stuff in a separate bag but like i don't have like a lot in there that would like cause this to just like disassemble or <laughs> get ruined so i just have that in there next my pill container I got this little winged heart pill container on Etsy. It just has a little clasp and it has six separate ones. I wish there was more, but you know, you give and you take. And I've marked the kind of medicine that I have in there, the medicine that I would most likely would need to take if I'm ever out in a public setting. And then behind it, I have a picture of my best friend on her college graduation senior pictures. And then I have my social security behind that. But you guys, don't get to see that you might have seen this in my cinnamon collection video but it's just a tiny little ziploc baggie that has uh, some of the sanrio characters on it and you see here we have taco little twin stars hello kitty pom pom Pierin, and cinnamon just like doing a little conga line <laughs> and on the inside is a cloth 
mask. Next is this Welly mini first aid kit. I got it at a grocery store a while ago. It just has band-aids it has like hand sanitizer and triple antibiotic ointment packets in there although I have used those ointment packets a lot already so there's that hand sanitizer one it's the welly quick fix kit it comes with a little like booklet very useful this is my saving grace this is my Benadryl anti-itch ointment I get bit up really easily during the summertime and this is like my lifesaver especially like I don't want to take like a Benadryl especially like if I'm out or I'm driving you know I can't afford to like take something like that and be drowsy so I just take a little bit of this it's extra strength and I just rub it on my mosquito bites just anything that's like itchy or irritating and it works super well i don't know where i'd be in my life if i didn't have that another hand sanitizer are we like shocked are we is shock in the room right now no this is just the naturals purell hand sanitizer has a little pump next i have this clear eyes maximum redness relief eye drops you never know when you're gonna need eye drops you know no matter what the case next i have my vaccine card i got this pro science pro health pro vaccine vaccination card holder on moveon.org they were giving these for free and then this is my vaccination card i at one point stopped carrying like snacks in my bag because i was carrying bags that weren't big enough to hold anything more than what i already had and so snacks were like you know actually maybe you can't fit that but i have a strawberry fruit roll up i also used to have a rice crispy tree and a nature valley oats and honey bars but i ate those and willow is sensing that i'm holding food so now she wants it but she can have it this is the last snack that i have in my bag that i have yet to eat i just got this one this is uh from shop miss a it's just a compact reusable lint roller i've already used it as you can tell by like dog hair and like the dirt that's on it but it just closes like that this was super cheap on shop miss a next we've got hemp's original lotion travel size version i love the hemp's brand i pretty much like have one of these in my bag i have the pineapple and honey one in my car and then I have a full size of the original at my desk next two things I have in aquaphor do you <laughs> I have an aquaphor <laughs> Willa wants to show you too in aquaphor <laughs> um, that <laughs> Don't lick it. I have talked about my Aquaphor obsession in the past before and how I literally always have some form of Aquaphor in any sort of vicinity. I have it at my desk, I have it in my purse, in my car, in my makeup container. Like I just have so many all the time, all over the place. Next, I think these are so essential for me. If you suffer with nausea or emetophobia, these are a lifesaver. I mean, in my experience, they don't really get rid of like the nausea whenever I'm starting to feel nauseous, but at the very least, it helps to not make you throw up. I use this every time I start feeling nauseous or I feel like I'm gonna throw up. They help so much. They are called C-bands and they focus on acupuncture. And it also doesn't work unless you're wearing both of them, but it basically they're this little circle here it's like a little ball and you just put on the wristbands and you focus them three fingers down from the wrist and that's where you would place them and it focuses again on acupuncture and that pressure point to relieve some nausea i've found this so useful i've had multiples of these i let my dad use this specific one when he was dealing with his cancer and it helped him at least a little bit i highly recommend them i do think that they are a little pricey but i do think that they are well worth it next <laughs> like i had mentioned in previous videos we are in one of the hottest summers that we've had so far in texas history like 100 degree days if you're wondering what this is and why it's in my purse it's a, it's supposed to be a rear view mirror scrunchie so basically i put it on my rear view mirror and it's just like a car accessory it hit it's a cinema one it's supposed to go like this and he's his face is supposed to like be there in the corner but it came off because the heat melted the super glue or the hot glue that was keeping it together and so it's in my purse because my best friend is willing to sew this up for me so that way it doesn't come apart so that's why it's in my purse because i will forget to like 
bring like if I see her I will forget to ask her to attach them so it's just been sitting in my purse for like a while and then the last thing that I have is this tied to go pen I've very rarely had to use this but it's just in case I definitely feel like I have a very mom purse but I have what I showed seems like a lot I feel like it could be so much worse so anyway that's it for my what's in my pleasing bag I love this purse so much I love the mesh and I love I just love the green lettering it's one of my favorite bags ever this is my second Harry Styles like themed thing and it also came with one of his signature nail polishes which is beach day it's a dark blue and I had no idea that they were sending that along with my bag so it was a very nice surprise I love this purse I can't speak to how long I'm gonna use it because I change bags so frequently but right now I'm I'm one too lazy to like switch it all out and two I do really love this bag so I don't regret this purchase at all I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe comment down below if you have any Harry Styles merch or if you're a fan of Harry Styles I'm sending you love and light always bye